Good morning, YouTube. Hang on, you're dirty. That's better. Good morning, YouTube. Um, welcome back to Honeybee Farmstead. What's wrong? What's wrong, Jaxie? So, Noah and Jackson did a camp out at the dam last night. And, um... Don't camp where there's lots of frogs. Don't camp where there's lots of frogs. Apparently, the serene sound of frogs doing their brr brr was was just not not conducive to good sleep so they came back at about 10 ish um so really didn't camp over at the dam anyway i digress we have as usual drama on the farm so we have had one of our pigs figured out how to get out of the electric fence luckily she doesn't go far because we sort of hand raise them and they know that humans mean food but also, um, there are other pigs. The other pigs hadn't figured it out. So we had, we have done everything. She literally pushes it up and goes under. So today our mission is to make a pen that we can keep her in, contain her in, until Alex is able to get home and we make a more permanent pen. Now we did want to free range them on that beautiful piece of land up there, um, but if we can't contain her that's just not going to be possible it's possible it's going to be time to put them straight back into a pig pen um, and i can actually see why people do it uh so i have my helpers out here today and we're going to get cracking on that and then i've got a milk it's uh, we're milking every second day now with bonnie because she has gotten massive and we are concerned that she's closer to calving than we thought so time to dry her off as quick as we can um so she can build up her colostrum for the baby. So come along with us. I don't, we don't. All right. It looks like we've got a bit of cleaning to do. Oh, little turkey, what are you doing out? We've got a little bit of cleaning to do. How did chickens get? Oh, they're too small. They're These guys are all doing really well. Look at them. We move, we keep moving the pen to give them like fresh green grass. Alrighty. So, I'm gonna come in here. We're gonna let, you can let, oh, you've let Bessie out. Did you get her in? Yes. Gracie got her in? Yes. All right, Miss Mina, do you wanna hand up? Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Let's go, chicken. We've had your grooming this morning, haven't you? Up you go. Up you go. All right. So, it's not ideal, and um, I don't want to have to be doing it, but uh, when she gets out, look at what she does. She makes an absolute mess waste water like seriously getting sick of this pig getting sick of her um now we would probably just butcher her straight up and eat her because we can't have that like i said in many previous videos if an animal is causing disharmony on the farm it is either rectified or that animal is butchered for food or uh, just like we did with Helda found her a new home but that's not an option with this pig so I'll show you what we've got going on oh look all this goodness this is why she gets out you can tell she's been out she digs through all the poop all right hello beautiful girl hello baby girl hi all right what's she done here she's lifted it up did she just no, that was puppy. you piggies oh there's a dead rat in the water eh no. you naughty pig you naughty pig no it's not you charlotte it's your sister. What's that on her shop? Yeah, oh. I think that's crap. 
apple. Well, that's not my slice. That's no, my it might be her sister too, though. Yeah, it might be her sister. Because she, I don't know what's going on with her, but she's a painful little bugger. No, right. Hi, right, Bessie, don't. I don't want you to jump on me. No, Bessie. All right. Pick up the feed things and hang them up. Or slide one into the corner and we'll fill it with wheat just to keep her in here. Do you that's, want to do that? That was my idea, but I've got to eat all three because that, that will take me longer. And then no to way. dig it up. Yeah, but then we have a rat problem. I mean, we already have a rat problem. There's only so many rats that Mina can grab and eat. She ate one last night. I know, she killed one this morning too. She's a good girl. That's but she still thinks, oh, hang on, am I allowed to do that? This is another reason that when we were raising pigs, we decided to actually Charlotte. hand raise the females because then it makes them a lot safer. Britt, pull that in. Yep, 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 yep. Good girl. It makes them a lot safer to be around people. Otherwise, if they can be actually quite, like, seriously quite dangerous. This one? Yeah. Why is that? Stop. She's more scared of you. No, No, she not. She not Should we, oh, in that cattle pellets box thing, can you please get me some for Bess? Good girl, Mina. All right. You're a good girl. It's quite easy to get Poppy in. That's good. Yeah, I think that might might Jack, be her sister. Guys, can you get that spray? Jack's right Nah, now. she'll be right. Pigs are really tough. Jax, remember when we already saw that when we got her in? Yeah, but I don't think that was Crackles because she's been in here and yesterday she didn't have it. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. Oh, did she? Oh, I didn't see it. Maybe you did see it. Here, Bubba. Here, sweetie pea. Come on, quick. That's it. Is that calf pellets? Calf pellets, grain. Calf pellets for the baby. There you go. Ow, ow, man. Good girl. What's it, man? Jax, help. I'm getting my Down in the corner. Wait. Wait. Come over a bit. Come over a bit. Come. Take it off. Take you it off. Oh, they're tough. They're just too clever. Don't tip it everywhere, please. I there we go. Quick look out the way so she can tip it in. Both their fat, fat heads can fit in there. Hey. No, I haven't made up the food. And I haven't set up the milking machine. Did you get to put her? Yeah. No, she let you put her. Oh, here comes the sassy one in. I told you. I've been meaning to tell you guys, any of your like horses or cows or anything that suffer with flies, this one here, I've, I've looked all those things up, none of them are dangerous to animals, just sprayed on their, I just do one line on the back because some, like a couple of my cows are really, really, really get upset with flies. So that stuff's great. All right. Little girl. You starting to look at Good girl, buddy. Oh, you big girl. She can barely get around the corner now. Big girl. All right, step out, sweetheart. Good girl. Good girl, big fatty. You're starting to produce less milk, which is great. This is what we want. What? She's got bugger all milk. Because we are about to get another cow. And that's a bit of a long story. So, I'm gonna wait until we can tell it. Cause it's not just my story to tell. It's a, it's a partnership story and a friendship story. Also a stewardship story. Because, 
We want to show you guys another way to have your dreams. You guys, this little girl, look how big she's getting. Hello, Nina. She's such a good girl too. She's so, so well behaved. She is very responsive when we tell her yes or no. Is that a cow? You're sniffing a cow. That's it. Good girl. But she is, she's settled in so well here. She's excellent with all the kids. She's excellent with all the animals and has decided that rats are game. Rats are a pest and she's gonna take care of, oh, don't breathe on me. So she's been killing rats flat out um, the last few days because we've kind of been encouraging it. But gently too, because we're worried that if she starts attacking rats, maybe she won't get the definition between a rat and a chicken. But so far, she has definitely not made that mistake. She's been really great. And because she's had so much to do with the chickens and turkeys and ducklings, she's really not interested. She just hangs about and one night, one of the turkeys didn't go in. The next morning we found her um, laying on the grass, turkey between her legs just sort of waiting for us to get up and put it away. Didn't even touch it, so that's a good sign. But, oh gosh, this is a constant. Can you step over that way though? That way. Um, that's a constant because, okay, so she grooms, she grooms, and she pats Mina, and Mina does that little grooming thing on her face. Very cute. Anyway, what I wanted to go back to was, don't worry, I am aware that the training is ongoing, even though she hasn't shown signs of attacking or eating anyone so far, we do still have to stay vigilant. So we do make sure everyone's in. Ah, uh -uh, Mina, no power cords. Um, we do make sure that everyone is in before we go out and we leave her here. We have left her so far without any gates containing her, um, which we are going to change when Alex is home. But so far, she's brilliant. She, Who's that? Poppy. Um, she's really brilliant. Doesn't go anywhere. We turn around um, as we're leaving, like I take Brock to work every day. I turn and say, stay. She stays right at the end of the driveway. She's actually such a good girl. And that only took less than 10 minutes because we're not completely emptying her out. I'm not interested in if she holds any back. Actually, I like the idea because I don't want to milk her out. With cows, it's supply and demand. So if you demand more from her, she'll supply it. Um, so we're trying not to have that because we want her dried off. But obviously we can't just stop altogether because then we risk her getting things like mastitis and you know, infections and stuff, which we do not want. Um, we want to keep her udder beautiful and free and soft. Good girl, Bon, you're doing a good job. And she's got a lovely udder at the moment. So we want to keep it that way. Hi, Anoa. <laughs> Rodeo. <laughs>
my pig downtown. Oh. Now this one will be interesting because this is the smart one. Mom, I just want to go down. Straight through here. Mom. Come on. I'm about to say, oh, you dog, but then I was like, oh, you pig. Tighten the nose thing over her face. Just grab her. Oh, there we have it. Pigs are just not easy. If I had to pick one animal to remove from the farm, it would be pigs. Definitely. They're too hard. Um, we do keep them, however, because they're um, difficult, but they till the ground. They, they make really good manure. Piggy post is one of the best for your garden. And they're tasty. Um, I love prosciutto, ham, and all those sorts of things. So this is going to have to contain them for now. Hey, She's hanging out with the pigs. You can go out with the girls. Um, yeah, this is him. Hopefully this contains them. Plenty of shade, fresh water. They've just been fed. Okay, excuse my horrible kitchen. I inherited it with the farm and the farm is perfect. So we weren't gonna turn this place down because of the terribly organized kitchen. So I'm making do, but I wanted to show you guys, um, we, we are doing away with bread bags too. We're not just not gonna play that game. Thanks Amanda for the kick in the butt to get into it. So I went on to Marketplace uh, because I'd rather recycle and have it um, second hand than have to go buy it at the shop. You save money and it's not going into landfill. So I bought this old relic here. These are one of the, um, I remember when I was a little kid, my parents had the exact same version. In fact, they've probably still got it in their cupboard at home, not using it. Uh, so I know how to use it, which is great, but it also came with its little book. So because it's the first time, we're gonna just do the basic one. And you'll see here, this is how I store my flour. I buy my flour in giant bags from our local baker. Uh, sorry, not local to York, but one of our bakers in Northern because he's really lovely. Um, and he used to always give us his day old bread to feed our pigs and stuff. So we support him every chance we get. I also got this from him as well. It's the yeast they use. So we are gonna make a basic white bread loaf. And I discovered something really cool today, which might help you guys. So I thought I'd give you the little tip. I have a Thermomix. If you have a Thermomix, you could probably do this too. So I'll turn you guys around. So what I thought we could do is we take out the jug and we can measure our ingredients, because they do it in grams, which is gonna be easier for me than say three and three eight cups. So I'd rather just do the 475 grams, you see there? And then I can tear it, like reset it, do the eight grams of salt, 16 grams of milk, 23 grams of butter, 23 grams of sugar, 25 grams of gluten, oh, gluten flour. 350 mils of water, four grams of dry yeast. So I'll be able to do those measurements here, straight into here, and then I can literally take it off there and straight into my bread maker. I'll open this lid. I gave it a good clean because it's second hand. I gave it a really good clean. Um, yeah, so let's make bread. I know this is the cheats way. And you can, I, all, I have all the things to make bread in a like a normal pan but I figured I could go I could set this go like I could set it for overnight because you can you can set it to be ready in the morning and all that sort of stuff um, I know it's using electrical stuff and I know that that's not really a hundred percent in the essence of what waste free 23 is but I'm getting there I am super busy 
uh, I have a very, very busy lifestyle. And, you know, while this is baking, uh, because I know that the oven, I'd have to keep checking on it. Whereas that bread maker, once it's done, it will just turn itself off. I can go check on my sheep and check my fence lines. I can milk my cow. I can feed and water all the animals while my bread's baking. So I'm a little bit cheating, but I feel like it's still in the essence of waste free 23 because there'll be no bags and none of those horrible little plastic clips. Bake bread with me. You know what? I'm gonna get so real with you guys right now. I started the idea and the project earlier today. I don't know whether you can tell, but it's now dark. Um, basically, what happened was I started doing this and um, I'm pretty sure you're all, you're all gonna understand me right now, but because my brain was in like, right, let's just get this done, tick off the boxes, blah, blah, blah. Let's just get it done on school holidays with four kids, a farm full of animals and all the things to do while trying to, like I'm trying to put together garden beds and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, hectic. I'm sure your lives are the same. I'm not doubting that at all, but this is how silly I was, right? I wanted to do just the basic white, extra large bread. Got the bread flat, got everything. Didn't have dry milk powder. And I was like, oh crap. I'm gonna to have to put that on hold. So like I was right in the middle of making the video, as you could see, just a minute ago, we've flash forward quite some hours and some horse poo collecting and some, all the things, all the jobs. Plus Jackson's got a friend here tonight. Anyway, literally, flash forward was like, oh, I'm gonna to have to get the dry milk powder when I go into town. Then I go across and I see that it says 350 mils of water. And while I'm driving to get Brock today, I'm like, oh, wonder if I could just forget the dry milk powder and just put 350 mils of actual milk in because I have a cow. <laughs> and seriously, I felt so dumb in that moment. So dumb. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if my super rich, creamy, amazing Jersey milk is actually going to be too rich, but I'm just gonna trial it, so let's do it. Yes, your mind is not playing tricks on you. I did, but it just appeared here. I turned the camera off and went and got it because I just looked there and was like, oh, I forgot the butter. I'm so bad at this YouTube caper. But I also decided because I was feeling so um, just, it may not work. This is a fresh milk thing. I, you know what? I'm just going to go with what I wanted to do originally. I'm gonna not bake a basic white. I'm actually gonna dice up salami and I'm gonna put some good quality shaved parmesan in because I happened to buy the exact bread maker that we had when I was a kid and it's made me all nostalgic and that was actually my favorite loaf that you could get was the one my dad used to make it with like salami and parmesan in it it was so good i am pretty sure you literally just pop everything in I think right so we're going on to my measuring hang on i'm going across we're going to measure so press scales first we need I'm doing an extra large loaf because I have an extra large family. Okay, now, salt, it says eight grams. Gosh, that's a lot of salt. I'm gonna tear it. It's so great, oh, tear. I didn't say minus anything. Zero, okay. One gram. Let's do it, I'll take you with me. So there we go, I can turn that off now. This will be exciting if it works. I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to listen to it for a bit. So, when it's kneading, here, I think you just go select basic. Um, 
menu, menu select, rapid bake, no, bake raisin, oh, okay, okay, so if I do that, what's going to happen, I think, is, it'll stop an alarm and let me know when to add the raisins, if I, that's what my memory is telling me, like, from when, when I was little and my dad used to bake bread, and he used to bake it, and it, as soon as it would, like, beep, all of us would just flock to the kitchen and he would cut it fresh and hot and fresh like with butter and it would just melt in. It was amazing. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna cut up the salami and the um put the cheese all in a bowl ready to just tip it in. And that's it. How good's that thrifty little buy? Did I press start? It's on. I really don't know. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, I'll check back with you when the bread is ready. I'm gonna put this lid back on so nothing gross goes in our flour. We're, I think we're gonna be using a fair bit of this. Okay. So, right, what we've got here, and I started doing it and I didn't press play. You right there, boys? Yeah, we're playing asleep over another small room. Okay, cool. Um, Thank you. Yeah. We are going See here, I buy shaved parmesan, so we've got like a half a bowl of shaved parmesan, and then we're going to put... Best thing about cooking. That's the only reason you come in to help me, isn't it? No. I just like helping. Sometimes. I also like eating. Mum and I are going to have a party Summer in Mum's room. Yeah. With hot bread. And some cool... Something, something. Oh, go get them and put them in the freezer to get cold. There's ice. Oh, you made ice. Yeah. Remember yes. what you told me to do? I did tell you to, but you never listened to what I told you to do. Oh, so. Yeah, it might be raw. Well, it is. It's salami, so it's been cured. You're not eating it. I heard the magical beep, and I wanted to take you. I just get the, this. I was like, what's that beeping sound? Raisin beep. So, I think, look at this. Gracie, you should see it, it's really cool. I'm gonna tip that in. It's gonna mix it through the dough. Doesn't look like much, does it guys? Anyway, it's gonna mix it all through. Oh my God, that's so cool. I don't remember ever seeing this when I was a kid too, so I hope it manages to pick it all up. I'm sure it will. Oh my gosh, you got that salami and parmesan is gonna be so good. Grace, do you wanna have a look? Come and get this the thing. Come and get the stool and have a look. <laughs> Whoa! How good is that? That's cool. Right, there's a little paddle at the bottom mixing it around. That's very cool. I think we're probably supposed to close the lid now. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so three hours and six, six minutes. I think I'll be asleep by now. Yeah, she'll be asleep, but. Or stay up. Hopefully. No, you won't. <laughs> she won't be able to. She doesn't know how to. She's Watch one me. of these ones that goes, I think. it's time for bed now. Good night. And off she goes. Like, remember of that time to sleep. Oh, what's that? Oh, Monsters Inc. Where she goes. <laughs> I'm tired now. <laughs> it just falls asleep. All right, so I'm going to bring you guys back to show you the big, soft, crusty parmesan and cheese. Uh, parmesan and salami loaf. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> okay, fellas. <laughs> now, this is their favourite part. Okay. Beg your pardon? Okay. You're being a ham and I'm filming you. Okay. You're yeah. embarrassing yourself. Yeah. You can't eat it raw. I'm not eating it raw. Just two seconds, please. So, Dad's going to explain. How you do it? Nope. Why have we had it in the marinade? So it tastes better. All the juice we and all the bits and pieces we start from the bottom, work our way up. I know, but Anna. Okay, so guys. <laughs> yes, I know. My big thing to do yeah. is to turn the oven on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
Right, am I allowed to stop? Stop. Listen to me. Have you washed your hands? Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys, welcome back to Honeybee Farmstead. Oh, this is the butcher video, and we're making jerky. Which is your favourite part? Yes, it's the favourite part of butchering. Me and Jackson, I love it. So, it's yes. been sitting in the... Fridge. Fridge with marinade for... Yeah. A little secret ingredient. 12 hours. 12 hours, but you're going to be... Because yeah. I'm going to fly it, I would leave it longer. But Dad needs some jerky for work. Yeah, because he can't go without jerky. <laughs> but as you can see, you've got a big chunk of meat there. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill up all the trays and we'll do one batch. And make sure none of the bits of meat are touching each other. And, well, and well, then... I'll, I'll explain how you do it. Yep. You lay it like that. So it's not touching the sides or anything. And you want to get as much as you can in there so you get other pieces. Well, this is a long piece. This one. And so Jacko, you want to start, you want to keep working that meat around. Lay it like that. Alright, one yeah. person lays, one person. Okay, so this. Keeps working the meat up. Kind of lay it just around there, come in. You kind of lay it so it doesn't have too much space. Is that good, Jacko? You know, it's a Well, this is a more. good, good piece. I love this piece. Yeah, I'll put this piece in a big one, so it's a big piece. Okay. <sighs> I could just imagine that in my mouth. Mm. Mm. My mouth is watering so Okay. Now you have these two. You basically just want to lay it just like that. And we'll be doing that to all of these trays. We've got ten trays all together. And we'll basically be doing this all night, which is my favourite part. Just like that, and then you just want to put Brock's got work pieces tomorrow. in here. This is going to be a big tray. Oh, it's like Australia, kind of. This is beef jerky. But the same principle applies when we get roo meat. And roo meat is my favourite jerky. That's because roo meat isn't that tough and it's like every single part of it is beautiful. And yep. it just falls apart in the mouth. For me it's not. It's the amount of iron in roo meat. Yes, for girls and if you're having like jerky and you've got iron, for iron problems. If you've got low iron, yep. Yeah, I would go straight for jerky. Roo jerky. Yep. Roo jerky is very, I mean, roux is very high in iron, but so, roux jerky is amazing. God, it's good. Basically just like just dehydrated, dehydrated iron that you can eat. You have the same beautiful texture of all of the jerky in it. So good. I think that tray's done, eh? So that's basically how you want to do the tray. So it's all spaced out. Yep. I might go, go across and just like space them out like this. You, you could probably it, fit another piece on the top done? layer, just move yeah, it over I'm a bit. Just move over just a little bit. It doesn't have to be too far apart, just as yeah, long as I'm there's an air gap. Very exaggerated. And just for dad. For dad. Extra chilli. Because dad likes his chilli, he likes the flushy system. It's an amina guarding everyone against the foxes. And then we just do a lot. A lot thing of um, chilli flakes. And um, that's only because you haven't pre blitzed up chilies off our bush. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd use homemade chilies. Oh, it's way better. And it's way spicier. Where did that go? Out in the back freezer, top shelf. Oh, Dad, no, you're not. From a mate at work. Mixed bag of what are they called? All sorts. All sorts. This is the best. Tell us about some of the varieties. Of what? Jalapenos. Jalapenos are green, though. You don't have any jalapenos in there. Oh, oh that's a jalapeno. Ghosts. Ghost pepper. Any um, um Carolina Reapers? Yep, Carolina yeah, Reapers. Reapers. Ew, yeah. Dad tried to get us to try one when we had um, just, um the best. Oh what was it so good? just sprinkle milk. Just just oh. a lot, little sprinkle milk. He he tried, but it's getting more on the chair and on the table than it was. So he was being very specific. What's Mina barking at? I'm not sure. But she's doing a very good job at it. She's probably just barking at a chair. Alrighty. It looks like a scary shadow. All right, All right that's it. That's so up. then once you've got all the trays stacked, what do we do over here? You find the little groove in here. What setting does it go on? Um, oh, so look. As you does it go on the hottest? Ah, oh, look, it's instructions. It's instructions there. So we go we have it, wait, 155. So we have it like this. We normally have it. 155. It was already at, at that because we always do it. So this is the jerky machine. We don't dehydrate anything else. We do not. Well, I want to try dehydrating you could de banana and apple and all that type of stuff. We're going to, when we're growing our own. Bags. All right, so we have it like that. And when we're ready, we put it like this. 
It's not plugged so in. It's not plugged in. No, the switch is But I'll help you turn it on. Okay, so you turn it on like that. And then you, you do the, and I'll show you how the to set settings and, and you press start. You. Yeah. Good morning, YouTube. I fell asleep last night waiting for the bread. So you and I are going to see it for the first time together. I wonder how I went. Let's see. Uh, I think from memory it used to come right out here so I think maybe that one shrunk let's see it's not ideal it does feel quite heavy it's not ideal to leave it in the bread maker overnight because of sweating I know that much but I bet it still tastes really good I'm gonna get it out and see if it's really dense that chopping board hey because I don't want to wake anyone up. I'm only up this early because I've got to take Brock to it. I'm just going to put you guys down. You can see my dirty kitchen behind. All right, let's go. It came out clean. And the paddle's not in there. It does feel kind of soft. Let's cut it. Do you want a piece of toast for breakfast, Rocco? Oh, yeah. Salami and parmesan? Oh, yeah. oh that looks amazing. Oh, and it's nice and soft. Do you want to come and have a look, Brock? Yeah, you guys, I'm going to say that's a win. It didn't get as tall as I wanted. I feel like maybe that's because I added a little bit too much cheese. I tend to add more rather than less. I'm one of those cooks. I'm like, yum, it, I love those things. Let's just add more of it. So maybe I'll be a little less heavy handed with the cheese next time, but that is actually a win. It, it's beautiful. Look at it, Brocco, it looks wicked. You guys, I'm gonna say that's a win. Even though it didn't get really, really big, um, I can work on that. I can definitely work on that. It's possible as well that because I didn't get it out, it got sort of hot, like it was already hot, but it sweated a bit maybe. It's cool, huh? It's bready. No, but toast it and have toast with butter. Nice. There you go. Approval. Um, and. Oh, you got bread in it? In, in where? Yeah, more bread in it. No. Um, so, yeah, Brock, Brock's honest as he'll tell me the truth. If he doesn't like it, it's like, nah, you can do better, Mum. But, how good was that? So, I'm going to end this video here. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that. And I'm now I'm going to make things like cheese and chive and jalapeno and cheese. Yes, there's a common thread. I love cheese. <laughs> But also I'll have heaps of it soon. I'm going to go and learn how to make cheese with someone else in our homesteading community who seems to be really good at it. I've been watching her Facebook page for a while now. So that's coming up. But today we are going to do garden beds and all that sort of stuff. So I better get cracking and make a coffee. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it inspires you to make your own bread at home and avoid all those plastic bags at the shop and those little yucky bread clips. Either way, if it doesn't and you just like watching, that's cool too. We hope you have a great day and until the next video, take care of each other and bye for now. While we're at it, we're also, I've cleaned our dehydrator, previously known as the jerky machine, because I have been inspired by a YouTuber that does um, zero waste. So like he even uses onion skins and everything to make stock. So I have all this beautiful produce that a good friend of mine has surplus in her garden and was gonna throw to chickens or pigs. So I thought, no way, let's make some stock powder 
out of like obviously this is just going to be the start of it but we'll need onion and that sort of stuff so as it comes to us I think I'm going to make it just in a big jar and as the powder is made I will um, just keep adding to the jar and then just shake it and it'll be ready it'll have a bit of everything and I'm going to make sun-dried tomatoes out of all of these beautiful homegrown tomatoes can we keep some we can keep some, yep, because eating them fresh is just amazing, isn't it? So yeah, all clean and ready to go. We're going to use the jerky machine for dehydrating other things. And I think long term, I might actually get a second one because we'll, as a big family, we would do loads. But also having a garden, you would use it heaps. I want to do one that's for meat and one that's for fruit and veg. So.